OLED MacBooks in 2022? In his latest tweet, Ross Displayman has said that it's becoming increasingly likely that Apple will release an OLED display MacBook in 2024, as well as continuing work on OLED iPads. So, is this the end for Mini LED? Maybe not. So right from the horse's mouth, and I hope Ross doesn't hate me for calling him a horse, it's looking increasingly likely that Apple will launch a 13.3 inch OLED notebook in 2024, in addition to the 11 inch OLED and 12.9 inch iPad Pros. It's expected to be a MacBook Air, but could potentially become a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, or a new category. Now it does make you wonder when he says 13.3 inches, the only device that has that right now would be the MacBook Pro 13 inch. The MacBook Air now has gone up to 13.6 inches, so it would be weird for it to go back down again. So maybe we're looking at MacBook? Who knows? OLED displays offer much more accurate local dimming than mini LED displays, which should eliminate the bloom effect that is seen on the iPad Pro XDR and the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch models. This is because with OLED each pixel is individually lit, while right now the mini LED displays on the MacBook Pro consist of around 10,000 LEDs across 2,500 local dimming zones. Now, I've run the numbers, and that means four LEDs cover each zone. You're welcome. This is the kind of deep dive that you can expect. Bear in mind that this is five times more dimming zones than Apple's Pro Display XDR, which retails at five grand across 32 inches and 512 dimming zones. The backlighting system includes a large array of blue LEDs that generate exceptional brightness and modulate independently based on the content. This system literally shapes and controls the light, achieving industry-leading brightness while dramatically reducing blooming. Apple already uses OLED panels in the iPhone range, except for the SE, but there are differences. On larger panels, OLED uses a single coloured light emitter, which is then filtered to colours, as I understand it, while on the smaller iPhone size panels, the individual red, green and blue subpixels do illuminate themselves, and have to be different sizes in order to accommodate the fact that our eyes interpret it differently. In the case of the iPad and MacBook displays that Apple is looking at for these devices, it's a technology called Tandem Stack Technology, which basically gives you two layers and improves the brightness and longevity of the panels. Both of these, though, are potential downsides of OLED. They're expected to have a peak brightness of around 500 nits, which is comparable to Apple's current LCD and liquid LCD displays, but way below the 1000 to 1600 uh, nit peak brightness on its XDR mini LED displays. Although the black levels will be darker and more accurate around the edges of things. And longevity. OLEDs dim over time and not always uniformly as the individual pixels will degrade at different rates based on what colours and brightness are being displayed on them, i.e. Burning. With our iPhones which spend much of their time in our pockets and are used for relatively short bursts of activity, this isn't a massive issue, as well as the reasonably short service lives of those devices, especially for their original owners in most cases. But iPads and Macs are different and often replaced less frequently, so longevity is a real factor here, and they tend to sit on our desks being used pretty much all day long, with things that don't change on them like the dock, like the menu bar, like a few other bits, so changes will have to be made. Now, micro LED has been touted as the future, which would work in a similar way to OLED, but without the concerns for burn-in and uh, higher brightness, but that is still not ready for prime time just yet. So, let me know, OLED over mini LED, should Apple just wait for micro LED, or should the AR VR headset Apple Reality be just enough for everyone because you'll get unlimited virtual displays as far as the eye can see? Let me know down in the comments and if you have a question for me, hashtag I gave answers. Thanks to the Patreons and we'll see you in the next one. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumours? Subscribe and ring the bell.